Hi, boys and girls. It's day three. It's Wednesday of Holy Week. And um, we have our Holy Week in the box right here. And so today I'm going to start off with our, our uh, Bible verse. And that comes from John chapter 13, 1 through 17. And it says, Now before the feast of the Passover, when Jesus knew that his hour had come to depart out of this world to the Father, having loved his own who were in this world, he loved them to the end. During supper, when the devil had already put it into the heart of Judas Iscariot, Simon's son, to betray him, Jesus, knowing that the Father had given all things into his hands and that he had come from God and was going back to God, rose from supper. He laid aside his outer garments and, taking a towel, tied it around his waist. Then he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with the towel that was wrapped around him. He came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Lord, do not wash my feet. Jesus answered him, What am I doing, you? What am I doing you do not understand now, but afterward you will understand. Peter said to him, you shall never wash my feet. Jesus answered him, if I do not wash you, you have no share with me. Simon Peter said to him, Lord, not my feet only, but also my hands and my head. Jesus said to him, the one who has bathed does not need to wash except for his feet, but is completely clean and you are clean, but not every one of you. For he knew who was to betray him. That was why he said, not all of you are clean. When he had washed their feet and put on, on his outer garments and resumed his place, he said to them, do you understand what I have done to you? You call me teacher and Lord, and you are right, for so I am. If I then, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also ought to wash one another's feet. For I have given you an example that you also should do just as I have done to you. Truly, truly, I say to you, a servant is not greater than his master, nor is a messenger greater than the one who sent him. If you know these things, blessed are you if you do them. All right, so today during our Bible verse, we heard about Jesus who was washing the, the disciples' feet. And back in those times, they walked around in dust and dirt and their feet were dirty. And so it was, it was a common thing to go into someone's house and have your feet washed before you would do, um, you know, have dinner or talk or whatever. So washing guest feet was a job for the lowest of servants. Important people didn't do this. This was a dirty job. Think about it. The people in Bible times wore sandals and they walked everywhere on dusty, dirty roads. The roads had all sorts of stuff in them, mud, animal droppings, and more. Washing feet was a smelly, dirty job, and it was not for the faint of heart. So when Jesus started washing the disciples' feet, this was huge. This was their teacher humbling himself in the place of a servant to show them, and he came to this earth not to be served, but to serve. Jesus, the only human who had ever been perfect, humbled himself to the lowest place and showed us how to serve others. So imagine that Jesus is supposed to be this wonderful teacher, which he is, and he's he's really high up. He's not supposed to be washing people's feet. He's not supposed to do that because that is meant for the lowliest of servants. But he did that anyways. So if you look inside your box, what you'll see is you'll see this, a large bowl and a towel. And this will remind you of what Jesus did. Jesus, in this Bible verse, is telling us how to serve others. And that is an amazing thing. Okay, so you want to get this out. And if you want, you can serve um, by washing your feet. Try to find different ways to serve one another, just like Jesus served the disciples. So what a great idea is to on this day, Wednesday, middle of the week, Try and see if you can serve your family today and see what you can do for them. Not asking for anything in return, but just doing something for them because that's what Jesus has taught us. And this is what is reminding us that Jesus came to serve us and now we are going to follow his, his way and go and serve others. Okay, so remember that this week and I'll see you tomorrow for Thursday. All right, bye guys.